Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the petition that I created for you guys over on the PlayStation 4 version of Fallout 4. So if you guys don't actually know what I'm talking about, I created this petition last week so that, you know, Bethesda could hear the community's voice and I was basically asking them, while we're waiting for PlayStation 4 mods, why do you not create a little room in the game in which has infinite resources and items and weapons so that people on the PlayStation 4 can actually enjoy your two new workshop DLCs so they can actually, you know, kind of feel a little bit superior in their own game. And yeah, it actually did pretty good. 5,291 of you guys actually signed it. And that was insane, you know. I saw people from the PC and the Xbox also supporting those of you on the PlayStation 4 console and that to me is a win situation you know you guys came together as a community not just as one person on one console you came together for those on different consoles and that I am very proud to call you guys my viewers or subscribers fans whatever you want to call yourselves uh, so thank you all for who signed it I'm very proud of you now let's actually get on to did it work now when we create a petition it's not always likely to work it's just basically so you know the people who we are sending the petition to can have a look and see well holy shit 5,000 people signed it so you know it, it, the majority maybe yeah maybe we should implement that and I did tweet this petition to Pete Hines and Matt G staff and Unfortunately, I never got any reply and I actually saw around about 40 tweets that you guys tagged me in who tweeted it to them also So, you know, they may have seen it now Whilst this all went on QuakeCon was happening which you know most of the people from Bethesda are at QuakeCon So there is a small chance that they never saw it But I did also email one of the developers who I have you know actually had contact with numerous times before and they haven't replied to me so I'm kind of thinking that, yeah, they're just kind of annoying us on this one. So, yeah. And if I'm honest, that kind of annoys me a little bit. The way they haven't even addressed in a simple yes or a simple no, you know? It's kind of annoying because I remember one time when they were constantly patching the dog meat duplication glitch. Now, for those of you who don't know, yes, dog meat duplication glitch was, you know, a big thing. And they had a lot of determination to get that out of their game. They were constantly patching you know, every week near enough to try and get rid of this glitch. And I was thinking, well, where the hell is that, you know, where the hell is that determination gone for the fans, you know? Because the last time I actually saw you guys, you know, interact with your fans on a really good level was when the whole, you know, mod stealing fiasco was going on, you know? That's the only time they really cooperated with, you know, the fans, the players, and... That's really, really annoyed me, if I'm honest. I, I I, don't know what to say, to be honest, guys. I really hope that they do have a look at this and just give us a simple yes or a no, but I don't know. Maybe they don't have time for this shit. Maybe they're doing other stuff. I don't know. A simple yes or no is, is simply too long for them. And some of you guys think, well, the whole point of the room is stupid anyway. Well, honestly, guys, it takes me 20 minutes. Yes, just one person, 20 minutes to create that room in a mod. And that is basically what the guys have to do over at Bethesda. One person has to create that room and then send the patch off to PlayStation for like a week evaluation. You know, a patch is always like waiting there for a whole week. And that would literally be it. That was all it takes. But, you know, clearly they have their priorities set somewhere else, you know. And um, so I guess I kind of just thought... Well, you know, if I never try to do this petition, then we will never know if they actually want to implement it into the game. So, you know, I basically just tried. You know, God loves a trier, and that's what I did. Uh, but thank you all who did sign it, even if you never and you wanted to, but you couldn't for some odd reason. Uh, you know, thank you too. You guys are awesome. The whole Fallout community is very awesome in general. Um, but thank you all. And I'm sorry that I have nothing really to say about this until they do reply. But that is your update, as a lot of people was asking for an update on this. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a very big one. But again, thank you all for watching. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.